Tony 2.0 and today, League of Legends and Rito announced Echo, the boy who shattered time, the newest champ to be coming to the League of Legends world. For me, I saw the teasers for this during uh, all the LCS stuff and I got a little bit concerned about him. This is one of the first champs that I have witnessed uh, from me playing this that I'm actually worried about him maybe being a little game breaking. The main reason for that is something we'll get into, and today I just want to do a quick first look at all of his abilities and my thoughts on those. Let's get right into it. First of all, his passive, Z Drive Resonance. Echo's damaging spells and attacks build up resonance stacks on his enemies. This is something very similar to what Nar does. Every third stack, the attack against the same target triggers Echo's passive, dealing bonus damage and slowing his enemy. If he triggers his passive on an enemy, enemy champion, Echo also gains a strong movement speed buff. This is something that's going to make this champ, and after reviewing some of his other abilities, he's going to be incredibly mobile. And it's going to be pretty fun to play him and see what you can mix into the other team members to make him effective. Moving on to his Q, Time Winder. Echo throws a device in a target direction damaging all enemies along its path. Once it reaches max distance or hits any enemy champion, the device expands, creating a field that slows all enemies and neutral units. After a moment, the device contracts and rushes back to Echo, dealing extra damage to all enemies in its path. This is gonna make him incredibly useful in team fights, particularly if you are a little bit behind, and it's a great way to disengage from a, a, an attack that may not be going your way. On down the line to his W, the passive for Parallel Convergent, Echo's basic attacks deal damage, uh, deal bonus damage to low health targets. This scaling is really going to depend on how overpowered he is, and I'm guessing in the first few patches, it's going to be a little bit ridiculous. Then they're going to nerf the shit out of him. Then they'll hopefully find a good medium in between. The active. Echo opens a time rift, creating an alternate reality copy of him that tosses device to a target location. After a delay, the device expands into a broad slowing zone. If Echo enters this sphere, it will detonate, granting him a shield while stunning all enemies inside. This is kind of a mix of some of the other elements in the game already. It's got like a Cho'Goth and a Bard feel to it. And again, it's going to make him quite a disengaged champion. Really for Echo, to me, he's kind of shaping up as, it could be a good mid laner, could be a jungle, uh, could could be a support. You know, there's, there's plenty of little roles that he's going to be able to play. It looks like to me from all of the beginning videos that are out and what you're seeing now is that he is a melee champion. And so there is going to be a little bit of weakness to some of his skills. On down the line to his E, phase dive. Echo dashes a fixed distance towards a target area. Once his initial dash is extended, Echo gains greatly increased range on his next basic attack and blinks to his target to deal damage and apply on-hit spell effects. This is like <laughs> this is like Kale, her her uh, her E on on steroids. You get increased range plus you can flash and do extra damage to your uh, to, to your enemy. It's like Quinn and LeBlanc and Kale, it's it's going to be a little crazy, and this this is one of the things that has me worried for this champ. That takes us into his ultimate. They are his chrono break. Echo rewinds time, briefly turning untargetable and invulnerable before reappearing wherever he was a few seconds ago. Once he reappears, Echo recovers a portion of his health he lost over those few seconds while dealing tons of damage to all nearby enemies. This is going to be brutal, particularly looking into things like Baron Steels, Dragon, con you know, contesting dragons, huge team fights, particularly like in jungles and small corridors. This is the thing that has me worried about breaking the game. I'm not yet aware of how this is going to affect the environment. If he's rewinding time, is this going to make everyone else slow down? Is this going to affect anything that's going on around him? Or is he just simply going to be able to run around crazy, uh, do whatever he wants, uh, similar to like a Wukong thing and, and you just see a decoy of him or or maybe you don't see him at all Guys, this has just been a quick look a first look at echo for me I, I'm a little bit worried about this one the last couple champs Azir Kalista those, those haven't been too big of a deal. This one has the chance to It's gonna affect the game 
in a lot of ways that those other champs didn't. So I'm a little bit worried about it. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll be back with more videos very soon.